Fantastic. This is The Racket on Triple J. And uh, earlier this afternoon, I had a chat with uh, Pliny, the guitar maestro from Sydney. Started out as a bedroom solo project, put together a band. But before putting together a band, like the the notoriety, the, the profile uh, just really snowballed with his music uh, online and uh, had a huge following before he ever hit the stage and uh, we got chatting about that. And I guess that was kind of a blessing because it made sort of skip being a local band. Yeah. Um, whereas it, it all happened online and I kind of wasn't really caring too much what it was going to lead to so I was just making friends with different bands just out of the fun of being friends with them and then started just turning into tour offers and stuff like that. So have you ever, like, experienced the the local band phase with anything else before? Um, I guess in a kind of fun way, the last European tour that I did, um, we basically got books to play Download Festival in the UK at the beginning of June and then a festival in Barcelona called Be Prog, my friend, at the end. And I really wanted to do both, so kind of just had to do stuff in the middle to make it work so we ended up kind of playing a lot of b markets i guess around europe like cities i'd never heard of cities that even people from paris would never think would be a market in france and i guess so that was like my doing a rural australia tour <laughs> but, but um, in, in terms of like local bands or whatever like this Pliny is actually your first ever band right yeah, I'd never played live until the first time I played live this stuff. That's insane. How many years did you spend, you know, working on being a musician and learning how to do everything and getting a live lineup? Like, give us the timeline on from, like, go to playing your first show. Yeah, I guess I started playing guitar when I was about nine, got an electric when I was about 11, and pretty much immediately started recording just in a really way just like straight into a cassette player play it back on the hi-fi and then record again and that was like my idea of how you play two things at the same time <laughs> uh, eventually got into more kind of home studio recording to the point where i guess i could kind of make a song that had like a guitar and bass and drums when i was maybe 16 or 17 uh, and then started really getting into more of the production side of things uh, over the next few years and I guess I released the first thing kind of under my own name in 2012 and then an EP in 2013. Uh, at the time I was studying architecture at uni when I graduated in tw at the beginning of 2015 I guess. I didn't want to work full time in an architecture office and I had put out three EPs so I had enough music to play at that. Um, and that was when my first show happened. So I was like, fuck, I need a band to play this. Cool. So as the, you know, last couple of years have, have progressed as being a, a, a live band and putting out new material, has playing with other musicians had much of an impact in how you've approached writing your new EP, Sunhead? 100%. Like, until recently, I had no idea what any of this stuff was really like. And so I would do my best to kind of emulate a drummer or emulate a bass player. But playing with the real people, I guess, makes me more comfortable with writing music. Um, if I write a super simple guitar part, I know that I can make it kind of interesting or emotional or whatever by having other amazing musicians play stuff around it. And so that's kind of changed the way I write. Like this EP doesn't even really have any guitar solos or at least what I would consider a guitar solo. There's a lot of stuff, like there's riffs and melodies, but it's all kind of as part of the song and not really a spotlight.
You're listening to The Racket on Triple J with Lachlan Watt, and that is Pliny with Salt Plus Charcoal from uh, his forthcoming EP, Sunhead, which is out on the 27th of this month. Uh, someone just texted in saying, where's my face? Oh, yeah, it just got melted off by the new gods of rock. Uh, now, something that I guess I was discussing with Stacy on lunch today when we were talking about this interview coming up tonight and everything was uh, instrumental music and trying to get to the the core of it and and finding out what drives musicians uh, like you know emotionally and thematically when there's no lyrics present and I asked Pliny if he gave much thought to what he's actually trying to convey with his instrumental music before he you know writes it and puts it out there and this is what he had to say um, I guess it's kind of weird because instrumental music is not as specific as, I guess, lyrics. Like, if I'm sad, I don't have the luxury of just writing the lyric, I am sad, yeah. and I'm singing it. Um, so I tend to kind of just start writing for no reason, and then once it takes a bit of shape, think about what feeling it could possibly about. So with this stuff, I guess it's all it's all pretty excited and upbeat, and I think that's kind of what's that's basically how i feel because i've got to travel the world over the last couple of years and kind of meet a lot of my favorite bands tour with them see different cities meet different people so it's kind of just a total overload of positive stuff that comes out in the music um and then so once maybe a song is mostly written with that in mind i can be like all right if i'm trying to explore like the biggest explosion of color possible I should throw in this other instrument and this other instrument and this sound effect and all that to try and really make it as thick and vivid as possible. Cool. So today we did give a sneaky preview of uh, your new song, Kind, on the lunch show, but here on The Racket right now we're giving it the official premiere, but I thought I would uh, share some of the feedback we got on the text line with you to, uh, I don't know, just get get your reaction, see what you thought about some of it. Um, we have a few comparisons. Someone was like, this is very much like the band Periphery. Uh, someone else said, this is very much like a heavy metal Tommy Emmanuel. So good. <laughs> uh, someone said, sounds so much like Dream Theater. Uh, and someone says, this is like jazz crossed with metal. I'm assuming those are all kind of comparisons you might have got before. Yeah, I think the Tommy Emmanuel one is definitely new and that. Whoever said that is probably the type of person that I would love to come to a show because I think this kind of music gets pretty pigeonholed as a purely metal thing, yep. but it is also quite pleasant and someone who likes Tommy Emmanuel might like this sort of thing. Well, Darren from Ruther Glen was the one that sent that text. Um, when I don't even know where Ruther Glen is, <laughs> but like, where can people see Pliny uh, across Australia in the coming months? In September, I'm going on tour with Javier Reyes, who plays in Animals as Leaders. He's doing his solo project, and another guy called David Maxim Mitsic from Serbia. Uh, we're playing at the Zoo in Brisbane on the 7th, Manning Bar on the 8th in Sydney, and then Perth, Adelaide, and Melbourne on the 13th, 14th, and 15th. Sick. Uh, we do have a few other texts here. There was one from Richard that said, cheesy, thick riffs with emotion. Uh, and then we have some strangely time-stamped kind of comparisons. Like someone here said it's very bad 80s porno music. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, Sam from Kempsey said, uh, whoa, the intro to this made me feel like I was about to sit down for a marathon of bad 80s cop shows, but I like it. Perfect. <laughs> but I like it. Yeah. Okay. And Corey from Wollongong said it feels like a 90s sitcom intro. That's sick. I mean, <laughs> who doesn't love 90s sitcoms? <laughs> I guess everyone, or almost everyone listening right now, probably uh, grew up on them or was at least around for it. Uh, but yeah, Jeremy in Newcastle also said, Pliny, what a man. He loves the groove. He can't wait for the tour later this year and wants everyone to get around it. So your new EP. Sunhead is out at the end of the month and people can go catch you live in September. We're going to listen to Kind now, but is there anything else you would like to say before we let you go, man? Uh, Just thanks for having me and hope you enjoy the track. <laughs> 